A Nigerian dance troupe gave Park Rapids residents the chance to learn about some of their culture, music, and language. Mel Meyer has more on this week's In Focus. An enthusiastic group of residents greeted the group at the Century School. The local library, community education, and Park Rapids Lakes Area Art Council received a grant in order to bring the trio. As a library, we're kind of responsible for bringing information and education into our community. All the members knew of each other from home in Lagos, Nigeria. After moving to America, they got back in contact and moved to Cincinnati, Ohio to join the Biakato Drum and Dance. Let's come back together, let's go to, to work together to present people what we are doing back home. Now they travel all over to spread the Yoruba language. <laughs> along with traditional songs and dance. When we are doing the bata dance, we go on native ladies, we wear beads, we have to dress like we are going to party. But the men bring it one step further by explaining some of their customs, like how you greet your elders each morning. If you are a girl, you kneel down on both knees and you receive the morning blessing. The group was happy to be teaching others about their way of life in order to clear up some misconceptions. People still think we live in the wild. People still think we live in the mud houses. The message was well received with the crowd shaking and shimmying to the beat. I just like the the power of the all three of them drumming together. Joanna Johnson was happy to see the event come to the area because something like this doesn't usually happen. And I have a six-year-old son and I think it's important for him to learn about these other cultures and people. It was a mutual exchange as the group had never been to the state and has been treated with nothing but Minnesota nice. I love Minnesota. Minnesota People, thank you very much. <laughs> in Park Rapids, with this week's In Focus, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.